Right, so uh, rotate. It's simple. I've got the rotate tool. You select the um, the layer that you want, click on it, and it gives you this. You can rotate it manually, like this, uh, or you can do it incrementally, like like that. You've also got a slider here, uh, so you know you can do it however you want. But the important thing is you can also grab the center point and you can rotate it around the center point. So this is helpful if you want to, you know, if you want it centered there and you want to rotate it around that point, you can, uh, let's make it exactly 90, rotate and there you go. That is now rotated. Uh, if we put it, because this is square, we can actually pull this down here. It's pretty much square, pull that down there. And then what we can do is we can also rotate this one. So you select the layer that you want to rotate, click, and just spin it. I'll type it in manual because I want it exactly 90. And then uh, just adjust everything. Uh, I'm moving the white layer again. Um, yeah, so you, uh, other transform tools, you've got um, a shear tool. Shear is pretty good uh, if you wanted to uh, you select the layer that you want to share or part layer and if you do that what you see is it will basically slide the pixels um, at the top that way and slide the pixels at the bottom that way so the height won't change uh, but there will be a, a shear so you know the diagonal will get longer there, shorter there. The total number of pixels doesn't actually change there, uh, so it's really good for not losing uh, definition. So if you shear it, you know you can see that this is just as crisp now as it was before. Uh, we can undo that, and likewise you can also shear it top to bottom. Pretty handy tool if you're doing um, if you're trying to get the effect of a curve. You can't do curves in this very well. That's the, the biggest uh, problem with it. Um, so what I tend to do is I, what you can do is you can duplicate layer and you can uh, put a mask in there. So let's split it right down the middle. And we will erase half of this. So we'll, uh, this top top layer we'll, we'll just, I need a bigger, bigger tool. There we go. Right, that's now been erased. You see it there. Uh, select invert, invert selection. So instead of selecting that, we're now selecting the other side, uh, and we want to select this layer, which is the other layer. Turn that one off for a minute, so you can see. And now we can remove, we can remove that. So when we turn these back on, we've got two halves of the same, same image. But if we want to shear now, uh, get rid of the selection. So we'll, se we'll select this one and we will shear it like that. And we'll select this one and we will shear it like that. And we will, and we've got, you need to just, if you click on it with the move tool, you can then use the arrow keys to get everything nicely aligned. And what we end up with is um, basically a uh, the image is now pointy. If you do a, a lot of stacks, you can actually get a, a sort of a, a pseudo curve. Um, and you can even merge the layers together so that now we have one layer that does everything. There we go, we can, we can see that. Um, there's a bit up there that I didn't erase because it was hanging off the edge, but you know, forget that. Um, and then we can rotate this back round like that. 